What's up timekeepers, me Time Gamer here, finally bringing you another part of E3 2018. This time around we're going to be looking at Sony's press conference or showcase, uh, whatever you want to call it there, which was uh, a weird one, I have to say, if you guys watched it. Uh, it wasn't what I was expecting, especially, we'll get into it a bit there, but if this is your first time watching one of my uh, E3 coverages, this time, basically what I'm doing is I'm going over my favorite announcements of uh, the, sh the showcase conference or briefing or whatever it is if you've watched the other ones already thank you but the, the if this is your first one that's what i do i don't go through every single game that plays i just go up pick the ones i enjoyed the most seeing and we'll go from there but of course i will mention some of the weird parts of playstation and sony went like a bit of a weird direction with this one and i have to say honestly this is the first time i've watched a, a sony conference and I've been underwhelmed by their conference. I, when they finished, I was actually, oh, we're done. We're actually done here, which was really weird. And I, I'm, not, I'm not disappointed, but I was expecting a bit more from Sony. Since they are a big company, I was expecting a bit more pizzazz, a bit more. I, I don't feel like they gave all they had, but who knows? They might be keeping some for the Sony uh, event, uh, the PlayStation event in, this, in December usually. So we'll have to see more from there when that happens. So we'll just drop into the first game that they showed. They pretty much started off with the the guy playing the banjo, which was good, but at the same time pretty weird. Especially that when they were done showing uh, Last of Us 2, they just cut to a like a 10 minute pause for some weird reason, which really just from every account I saw pretty much broke the the feeling of that showcase altogether even me i was like okay that was really weird and i knew when I, when they started the break i was like this is where the, this is where the mistake happened started right from here you can pinpoint it right on the map where it started but anyway the first game was last of us 2 so this is uh, it's a bit weird because they started they started off their press conference with their biggest game which i don't understand why they did that but usually you end with the biggest one which they ended with spider-man but we'll we'll talk about it a bit later so last of us the first game starts off with a uh, beautiful cutscene. the graphics are awesome some people were floating around they're, they're, they're thinking this is more of a uh, they're running this on a pc because there's some some people are saying like this is way too nice to be looking on the ps4 I don't know, it seems the PS4, uh, as we've seen with the PS3 and the PS2, if you push it far enough, the, P the, the console, the hardware can go that extra step if you use a bit of pass, pass arounds and stuff like that. It can be done to look beautiful. So yeah, the cutscenes were really flawless. Uh, so then we fall into gameplay of uh, Last of Us 2, which was pretty pretty cool. I really enjoyed the way that the cutscene flowed into the gameplay. There was It was seamless, which they've done, for, uh, Naughty Dog has done for their past couple of games. Uh, well, the Uncharted, uh, the, the Thieves End had pretty much the same thing. It, it, it looks pretty, it looked pretty decent. It's pretty much flawless, I have to say. And also some of the, uh, some of the combat techniques there where you, uh, w one thing that I noticed right away is that when they, when Ellie was taking weapons mid-combat, what I, that's one thing I really noticed right away when she was fighting, punching, and then just take the person's weapon, sort of a, like almost like a Hitman or John Wick kind of thing going on there. Or um, those animations look pretty cool on their own. So the next thing I also noticed in Last of Us that really got my attention, and I know this might more be of a fluff thing than anything else, just to add like, oh my god, this is so realistic. But like it was, I, I just, <laughs> my notes just say the hurt animation, that's what I call it. Like uh, Ellie a couple of times where she got shot, uh, a lot of video games usually they get shot, they limp for two seconds, and then they keep going. But in this case, we see Ellie is struggling more like if she gets, when she got shot in the right or left arm. She, she's holding that arm for a bit a bit more time. Uh, or uh, there's one part where she gets shot, uh, she gets hit by an arrow, and she actually had to, like, lie down, take the arrow out on her own. Like, whatever's left of the arrow, which was pretty cool, because a lot of the other games, it just stays there, and then it's just just disappears after a while in this case it's pretty cool that she has to take it out i don't know if you have to do that every time in the game we're gonna have to see it would be kind of annoying in doing it every single time but we're definitely gonna have to see once the game comes out so this last of us 2 is definitely something i can't wait to see all right so the next game we're gonna jump in is ghost of tsushima i i hope i'm saying that that name right there's not much to say we saw a lot of gameplay it seems like another a beautiful open world it has that uh, that um, I have to say it has a, very, uh, a good vibe of uh, usually when you get more of the Asian type games uh, I don't know if that's the proper term or the appropriate term but uh, let's say like uh, it has sort of a 
I'd say like a not a not a Final Fantasy type game, but it has like that aesthetic though that 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 aesthetic that a, a Japanese or an, or an Asian game usually feels like. So there's an open world game, samurai game, and the combat looked pretty cool. It didn't look. I don't know. I don't remember who was explaining it, but the game does look like it's not like a hack and slash where you're gonna have to press the press the hack button like 15 times before you kill somebody it seems like it seems a lot more fluid like if you get the the person properly you can kill them in one shot or a couple of shots instead of just like hitting him multiple times to get it down it's, it seems a lot more realistic than other uh samurai games or sword games uh that i've i've saw, seen in the past and i'll, I'll leave ghost of tsushima there because it does it, it it looks pretty cool but it doesn't seem like it's going to be out yet which a lot of the <laughs> unfortunately a lot of sony's games do feel uh, like that, that they're not coming out right away, and I think that's why they they went with uh, Spider-Man at the end there, because that's I think that's a, of all the game they showed, that's the the game, the one of the only games that's going to come out recently. I I think I have to look further down the list there, but we'll definitely look further down a bit later. After Ghost of Tsushima, the other game that uh, caught my attention was Control. This is by Remedy and 505 Game. This game's coming out in 2009. Uh, and all the other games I talked about already don't have any uh, release date yet, so keep that in mind. Uh, Control. So this uh, remedy, it has looking at the trailer itself or the gameplay trailer, whatever it was, does have a lot of feel of uh, Remedy's other game, Quantum Break, which was a very good game. I played, got a lot of of crap when it came out for being, I don't know, it's it, uh, people were a lot of people weren't feeling that game as much, but I really the the, the Control did seem to get vibes from. Quantum, quantum quantum break yeah I was, I was gonna say quantum dream but that's a video game company it takes a lot from quantum break and it looks pretty cool there's there, there isn't much else to say about it it has that weird interdimensional feel to it like stuff going on so i won't go more into it uh it just look at the trailer yourself you you're, you're gonna, can figure out what it is from there the next game on my list that i really enjoyed the announcement was resident evil 2 the remake so First, when you start, when the, the the trailer started off, I really didn't know what the hell this was and, until like they start showing Leon and then Claire, and they they were before they even set, showed the title, they were showing like Raccoon City, the RPD, well Raccoon P Police Department, and then they were showing they were switching between Cl Claire and Leon, and I was like, this this feels like c really like Resident Evil 2 when before they even mention it because. I, the first game I was introduced to in the series was Resident Evil 2, and that vibe of I just remember Switch like the person I was playing because I, I didn't I didn't like playing those games back then for some reason, but I remember like the person playing it always like switching the disc between Claire and Leon. You had two different discs to play the game of Resident Evil 2. And I can't wait to I can't wait to see how they're gonna implement this in this uh, remake or relaunch or whatever they're gonna call it. Uh, it definitely like it's definitely a remake because the 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 game definitely sees seems like it's re remade <laughs> pretty much. Uh, it seems like it, it has a new art style, new everything. It, the game doesn't look like it's actually like a not a remaster, not a not not a remake, but a remaster. It's not like they polished up the game just a tiny bit. It seems like they, they when you're looking at the trailer and stuff like that, it really seems like they refurbished the entire game from zero with new with new assets and stuff like that. So I really can't wait to see. Uh, there, the the release is actually a cool. Uh, it's actually cool. The release date is actually January twenty fifth, twenty nineteen. So we're we're really seeing a lot of uh, from if we take into consideration the games from past couple of weeks. They've been announcing all the conference so far. They've been really going hard on January, February, March. There really will be a lot of game releasing in those in those days, especially like February twenty second. There's going to be like Days Gone and a couple other games. I well, I don't know why I can't remember all the other games, but. It's going to be a lot of heavy hitters in those that three month period. Uh, it's like the new, no, it's like the new autumn for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, Re Resident Evil Two is definitely going to be uh, a game to check out when it comes out. Then, then of course, PlayStation comes out with Dev Stranding or Hideo, Hideo Kojima comes out, and of course, uh, we don't know what it is. <laughs> it's still we did. We, it does seem like we saw gameplay. Some people. Uh, person uh, i don't remember the person unfortunately sorry if i'm using your reference but somebody say it was like um what was what they what were they calling it they were calling it like amazon delivery service simulator who whatever they were calling it because there was he seemed like he was carrying different type of packages in different parts of the world uh he can drop them and stuff like that so that that was one of the aspects and then there was a sneak aspect with the baby and the 
uh, and the uh, what looks like a little flower thing that spins or sends something out to like echolocate the the invincible monsters in the game or something. So I'm 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 with everybody else. I don't know what the hell the game is. I just can't wait to see what the explanation will be once we get to the game's release or something. Of course, there's no release date yet. I'm assuming this game's not coming out for another two years at least. Uh, it's going to be one of those games that's going to take forever to release, unfortunately. But Hideo Kojima usually makes pretty good games. Uh, and we'll have to see when that comes out. And of course, the last game that caught my attention, and pretty much most people's attention, because this was like their main feature game, was Spider-Man. Of course, the exclusive game coming to PS4. Uh, we saw the likes of Electro, Rhino, Scorpion, Voltor, uh, Voltor, or whatever they, they want to call them. Uh, so a lot of people are hyping about Spider-Man 2. It's fun for me when I saw. For me, Spider-Man's not really my thing. Unfortunately, it's not. I'm not. I'm not banging. I'm not like. I'm not like hitting on the game. The game does look great. For me, it has a lot of the. It has a lot of the Arkham, Arkham City, Arkham Knight type feel to it. Like the video games. The game does have some good vibes. The swinging action looks fun. I saw a lot of people like. I just want to swing around the city and stuff like that. It's like that's fine and all, but are you going to do that for 40 hours just swinging and doing whatever? Like, I, I don't know. For me, Spider-Man is its not my favorite superhero. He, he seems pretty... The game looks pretty fun. Uh, there's a lot of... Uh, what they were showing from the gameplay. A lot of cool motions going on. But a lot of things look... I don't know. It seems like it was uh, guiding the player a lot. I know it has to at some point. But when, when you're chasing... Uh, one point in the trailer, you're chasing Electro. And he's going up sort of the silo of some kind. And you don't really have control of Spider-Man. Or you seem like you're just going up the wall and you have to move out of the way of certain things. It seems a lot scripted. You can't really like do whatever you want in those sections. What what it seems from the trailer. Uh, the, the gameplay trailer. So we'll, I, I, won't, I, won't, I won't hit on it too much. Uh, it does seem really good. I'm just sad that Sony, for some reason, decided to end on that because I don't think it was really like their pop game at the end. I think they should have ended with Last of Us. That would have been the more logical thing because Last of Us had that pop, but they, they decided to uh, the expression of uh, blow their load early <laughs> at the beginning for some. Sorry uh, for using the expression. But that's what it is. It's just uh, they just went out all, all at the beginning, and then I feel like I I felt like the the conference was like pretty lower than lower than last of us after that just and of course they didn't show days gone which i find really weird a lot of people are saying the game uh, might be overhyped more than what it, it needs to be it's not as good as some people are saying of course i'm i'm still gonna buy because that's one game i've been looking at because i really enjoy zombie games i'm one of those guys that enjoys zombie games uh, any form of them if you if you can do it originally and well not or originally but if you can put a nice spin on it and make me feel like I'm going to be scared to play a zombie game. For me, that's that's a win-win. Or a survival game. Those for me are usually a win-win. And yeah, we'll have... From, from there, that's that's the end of the conference pretty much. I enjoyed the conference. I felt like Sony could have done a bit more, a little less of music. I know they were trying to go for a flow of some kind, like emerge everybody. But I do feel like, compared to the Xbox press conference, I do feel like it was less interesting. If we go, if we go with the, like... The, like uh, the beats per minute, like how many games per minute we're, we're getting. Xbox definitely smashed it out for sure because they had so many games. Of course, granted, they didn't have like they were showing a lot of console exclusive, uh, uh, sorry, console launch exclusive, or they only had literally ab around four or five games exclusive to the like to the Xbox that you can only get on Xbox. The rest were launch exclusive, or you can get it on the PC or. Uh, it's like all those things a lot or they were just we get we got the biggest announcement so exclusive wise ps4 has it uh, unfortunately it sucks that the, the, the sony conference was a bit like and I, i'm a sony fan but i i i'm sony first all the way and I, I i i'm able to admit that the conference was not the best exclusive playstation sure has it we still have like the unfortunate thing with PlayStation is for the last couple of years, so it's like, okay, you're showing us a lot of games, you're showing us cool exclusive games, but we're not getting anything. You're not, you're not giving us anything. You're not, you're, you're out of, out of the five games new exclusive you're showing, only one you have a release date on, which kind of sucks. But unfortunately, we're gonna have to live with that. Xbox on your right hand, you have like three or four exclusive, and you some most of them have like you have Forza, Gears, Halo, and um, Crackdown all had announcement dates. Uh, not announcement. Well, some of them had announcement date, an announcement date, but that's their big exclusive. And I have to say, Sony Sony's exclusive interests me way more. It's more of my genre of games. But what you're seeing is 
PlayStation did not have that pop. They didn't have that like that beat, that game, 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 game. They were more like long. And I enjoy I enjoy long gameplay trailers. It's just I felt like there was too much of it. It was just too spread out. There was not not a lot of games. Unfortunately, they did. Unfortunately for me, they did. They just come a, a bit under Xbox on this one. Uh, I did feel un, uh, underwhelmed, but I didn't. Enjoy, I still enjoyed the press conference. Still had a lot of cool games. These are the games I'm interested in compared to the Xbox games. I don't, I don't know what else to say on that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the press conference. If you watched it, definitely go watch it if you haven't. It's definitely worth the watch. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Tell me in the comments below what you thought of Sony's press conference. Am I right? Am I wrong? I don't know. Just tell me in the comments and we'll, we'll talk about it there. Of course, always stay positive. Well, positive. Always stay nice when you when you leave a comment of course always stay in like in relative civil way don't don't just do you're fucking stupid that, that i i delete those right away don't even worry about it follow me everywhere me time gamer twitter twitch facebook instagram and right here youtube.com for slash me time gamer where i post a new video almost every day of the week monday to friday 3 p.m eastern time i've been taking a couple of days off here and there because i trying to recover some of my sleep there but anyway that's not here right thank you so much guys for watching and i will see you in the next video keep on keeping on